Egyptian wines are enjoyed in Egypt's restaurants and hotels. The 10 million tourists who come to Egypt every year love to discover Egyptian wine for its bouquet and character. The demand for wine is growing every year. Egypt has been producing wine for over 4,000 years. The trend to have a revival of the Egyptian vineyard. Challenging in Egypt is uh, to uh, produce uh, outstanding wines in very adverse conditions. The dedication of a group of oinophiles over the past decade to rekindle the heritage of Egyptian winemaking has led to a portfolio of wine that has captured the imagination of wine lovers and the admiration of wine experts across the world. Kam El Nader is the leading producer of fine premium wines in Egypt. 350 acres of virgin lands have been planted so far to grow internationally certified organic grapes. The dry air and absence of humidity prevent fungi from growing and spoiling the grapes. The vineyards lie in former desert conditions that were terraced in olden times and comprise some soil and organic matter. It's all about stressing the vine in order to reproduce what happens in natural climatic conditions of European uh, wine production areas. The heat is a major constraint for us. What are we trying to do is to irrigate very early in the morning and when the sun comes up and the heat is there, then the water starts evaporating and with the wind, it makes like a microclimate for the vines and it cools down the temperature around them. Managing the water and giving the right amount at the right moment is the key factor of quality. Watering is about a fixing limit for each kind of wine we're producing, for each variety of grapes. We are using the stem potential technique. This technique is based on, in a simple way, measuring the negative pressure the leaves are exerting on the soil to extract water. We decide to irrigate or not to irrigate. Water comes from wells, 100 meters deep, pumped through pipes for irrigation. The Egyptian grape growers have learned vine management techniques, such as pruning, to protect and prevent the direct sun from damaging the grapes. They have also learned how to manage the number of grapes on a simple vine. And this gives quality, because if the numbers of grapes continue increasing, we will have diluted grapes. It stops growing, and it puts all its effort on the grape itself. We will have a lot of aroma, a lot of taste, and a lot of color in the fruit itself. Harvesting begins at 4 in the morning and lasts until 10 o'clock when the heat of the sun becomes severe. We are picking early in the season to preserve aromas and natural acidity, especially for white grapes and for red it's a different story because we are trying to have a maximum color in the grapes and uh, in parallel to have soft tannins. We have succeeded in the white wines with the uh, Vermentino, uh, which is uh, a variety from Italy that uh, is adapted to hot and climatic conditions. Uh, we have succeeded very well with uh, Cabernet and Merlot. We think that we have some good choice with Syrah, but there are other varieties that we are uh, trying to develop and we'll see what the results will be. The grapes are hand-picked and transported in cooled trailers that preserves the grapes at around 15 degrees en route to the winery in Alguna. A state-of-the-art winery equipped with a huge refrigeration capacity.
managing and controlling the temperature, a fermentation and stabilization of the wine is critical. In white wine fermentation, we have to ferment at very low temperature to preserve aroma. Uh, we ferment between 16 and 18 degrees. In the red, it's another question because we ferment at higher temperature between 25 and 30. And the wine is stored for a long time at uh, minus 5, minus 6 sometimes. It's filtered later on and it enters a maturation period before going to bottles. We are working in a country which has a history with wine and in the winery we are using the same techniques that Europeans and Americans and Australians are using to produce their wine. Technology is, is important but it's not a determining factor. 75 to 80 percent of the quality comes with the grapes but if you get in bad grapes of bad quality you cannot get a good wine, it's impossible. We are not trying to uh, reproduce a wine that uh, a copy of Bordeaux or a copy of Burgundy. Because we consider that today we are on the right track to produce, uh, I think, outstanding wine. We're sure that it will not be outstanding wine in uh, when we compare it to the 300 most uh, renowned wines of the world. But I think we can produce wine that people can talk about.